What's going on guys, Sit here. So you are a Windows PC user and you are wondering if you can use Apple Mac OS on your computer. Well, in this video we are going to do exactly that. We'll show you how you can install Mac OS 13 Ventura on your PC or notebook using a virtual machine without messing up any of your data or Windows settings. Before we begin, just make sure that you subscribe to our channel. You cannot just simply install macOS on your PC like that. To do that, we will host our macOS on a virtual machine. You need to download virtual machine software called VMware Workstation Player. Just type in search bar and it will come in first place. Click on download and it will begin. As I have already downloaded the file, so I will continue with the setup. Just make sure you check enhanced keyboard mouse driver so you don't get a choppy experience with the Mac OS. Uncheck update and user experience then continue installing. Once VMware workstation player is installed, you need to restart your PC. When you're back and open VMware Player and you try to create new virtual machine for Mac OS, you'll notice there's only one Mac OS pen in the list. So we need to download Unlocker for unlocking Mac OS 13 version. Search for VMware Mac OS Unlocker and click on GitHub link and download the Unlocker zip file. Extract the unlocker zip file and then right click on win install then run as administrator. The script will run in background and close automatically. You can safely delete all files you extracted. And now you can verify in VMware player and check if Mac OS 13 is in there. Yes, it is. Now let's go and download the Mac OS 13 ISO image file. Go to itechscreen.com and then click on download in the menu and then Mac OS. Search for Mac OS 13 ISO file and then download it. As you can see, I have already downloaded the ISO image file. So let's make our macOS 13 virtual machine. Click on create new virtual machine. Then select will install the operating system later. And then select macOS 13 from virtual list. We will set 80 GB space as a single virtual disk. Click on Customize Hardware and set RAM to 8 GB. You can choose 4 GB if you have less than 16 GB RAM. Set CPU Core to 4. Now from CD DVD you make sure that you mount the image file of macOS 13 Ventura. Once all the setting is done, click on play to start the virtual machine and boot from macOS 13 ISO image file that we just downloaded and then mounted. So after we are in the setup, if we try to install macOS 13 beta right now, there's no partition to be installed on. So we need to make partition first. Continue with the disk utility and then click on VMware Virtual SATA hard drive.
then erase the partition to continue new one. Just leave the APFS format and default settings and continue. When partition is done, we can continue installing macOS 13 beta. Installation on my virtual machine took 15 minutes because I'm using 8GB virtual memory for my virtual machine. Finish macOS setup with settings as shown. Right now, there is no internet on our macOS 13 because as we speak, it's officially not supported on VMware, so we will try to fix this. Shut down macOS 13. Go to VMware player, right click on macOS 13 VM and then settings. Go to hard disk, locate the folder location of your macOS virtual machine, then browse that folder. and find the VMX configuration file, then open it with notepad. Replace E1000E with VMX Net 3. Save this file and close it. Going back to our virtual machine, let's open Safari web browser. And yes, internet is working now on macOS 13. The graphics performance on our macOS 13 virtual machine is very choppy right now and resolution seems to be not working correctly. We need to install VMware tools to get special drivers for our virtual machine. If we try to install it from menu, it's not working. But we can also download it from VMware website. Press Ctrl and Alter to go back to your own PC and search for VMware tools. Now download VMware tools for macOS. You need to be signed in to download. Inside the macOS 13, make sure to eject the ISO image file. Once it's downloaded, extract the ISO and mount the image file of VMware tools with check on connected. Now you can install the VMware tools.
When asked for authentication, go to Privacy and Security in macOS settings, then unblock VMware from there. When VMware tool installation completes, restart your macOS 13. Let's click on full screen and check if it works. Yes, now we can use macOS as if we are using it on MacBook or an iMac. Let's go and check it out. Some new wallpapers and screen savers to choose. The audio on macOS sounds pretty cool. Let's go and check out App Launchpad. Me, myself, as a Microsoft Windows user, I seem to pretty much enjoy using this OS from Apple. As I'm using it, I can tell you, yes, it's good. The GPU on virtual machine gives only 128 megabytes, so don't expect it to work like a real MacBook or your Mac computer. The video performance will also be a bit slower. As you can see, 480p is maximum it can get. This could also be an issue due to virtual machine network interface. The App Store is fully functional and you can create Apple IE without credit card so you can use Apple Apps from macOS 30. This is beta version of macOS 13 and currently it's in developing phase. The official version of macOS 13 will launch in third or fourth quarter of this year. So if you want me to try installing it on my PC, let me know in the comments section. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.